Welcome to Wednesday and another edition of Auto Week TV. I'm Greg and I'm going to take you through a hot lap of the Detroit Auto Show. We've got the Buick Encore, the Lincoln MKZ, the Honda Accord Coupe in concept form, and get this, a new plug-in from Toyota. We've got all the reveals, we've got all the details. Stick around, Dale's going to tell you more. Press days for the Detroit show wrapped up with a quartet of debuts, three of which will be in showrooms in the near future. Now, Buick realizes that the Enclave may be a bit too big for its many buyers. So, it borrowed the platform used for the Chevy Sonic and repurposed it for crossover duty to create the Encore. The five-seat Encore packs a turbo four, making 140 horsepower, running through a six-speed automatic. All-wheel drive will be an option. Buick has put extra effort into keeping the Encore a quiet zone, with sound deadening treatments used in the headliner and the windshield. It goes on sale later this year. Hot on the heels of Ford's debut of the redesigned Fusion, Lincoln previewed a makeover for the MKZ sedan with a concept car. We expect to see the production version later this year. Like the Fusion, the Lincoln MKZ is more rounded, with a roof line that flows all the way to the rear edge of the trunk. Up front is a new take on the Lincoln grill that we find to be pretty easy on the eyes. The concept is a four-seater, but we expect there will be a bench seat in the rear of the production car. Lincoln promises that the MKZ will use an eight-speed automatic and have engine choices that are unique from the Fusion. The new MKZ goes on sale later this year. On the Honda stand, the Accord Coupe concept is a preview of an upcoming redesign for Honda's mainstay mid-sized car. And in typical Honda fashion, there's a lot of the production car visible in this concept. Honda says the next generation Accord sedan and coupe will have the same amount of interior space, even though the car will be slightly smaller overall. Under the hood will be a new four-cylinder engine with direct fuel injection, making about 180 horsepower. And that engine will be mated to a continuously variable transmission as Honda looks to boost the car's fuel economy ratings. Finally, we believe we've seen a bit of the future of the Toyota Prius with the NS4 concept. The plug-in hybrid uses Toyota's next generation powertrain. That means it's possible there's a lithium ion battery pack for greater range and less weight. Also, other components are re-engineered to be smaller and lighter. And overall, the NS4 is wider and not as tall as the Prius, which gives it a bit of sex appeal. We're tired after several days of the Detroit show, but we're also excited by much of what we saw. And we bet you are too. Back to you, Greg. That's it for Wednesday for Auto Week TV. You saw all of the key reveals, lots of information, lots of details that are going to impact you in the coming year. For Auto Week, I'm Greg Migliori. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching today's edition of Auto Week TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in Auto Week Magazine, and in Auto Week's iPad edition.